I miss the days of everything feeling safe and doing my daily studies and experiments. This was my life just days before I was chosen to be sent out into the wasteland. Because the area where Talius, my father, and I did our work, there were a few women that ever went there. So we felt we could put up the more risque posters and pictures that have been printed off or saved over the generations. Yes, we like women, and though none of these are naked and none of it would have gotten us in any trouble, even if someone didn't like it, we were still pretty afraid that they'd get taken down one day. The three of us swore an oath that the last of us to stop using this workshop would be the one to remove them all and save them. There was a rather puritanical bent going on in America before the end of the world, and that even followed us into the vault to this day. Yes, I miss the vault, and hopefully after dealing with everything else here at the Cathedral and the mutant base of the Northwest, I can return home and put all this behind me. Yep, though I was kept busy with my studies and all the other activities I was part of, I never had a proper girlfriend. In our vault, it's left up to us to find someone and marry them. Nothing is arranged for you. Sometimes, though, uh, though rare, a spouse dies and a new opportunity is opened up for you. We do have to keep the vault population at a certain level, and to do that, babies must be made. To take care of the babies, it's always been greatly encouraged, mostly through our culture rather than any rule, that each child have both parents in their lives. Yes, I'm looking for that one girl to marry and start my own family with. And after what I've been through out here in the wasteland, a life like that can't happen too soon. I'm 22, so why did I wait? Well, a couple reasons. First one, let's just say um, I was a little shy, but that shyness has been literally beaten out of me now. I won't be shy about anything else from now on. What I want, I'll get. Though so long as I'm not breaking any laws in the vault. The other aspect was that I wanted to wait until I had completed my PhD, otherwise I was afraid I'd end up like my father who got married and never attained anything higher than just a degree. Which has its own risks, because what if there are no women left? Thankfully, that wasn't the case when I left, and with Talius and Ed gone, well, that gave me more possibilities. After I see what's below in the basement of the cathedral, I'll be returning to the Brotherhood of Steel, and I'll be spending my hard-earned caps to improve my abilities, even if it takes months. However, I'll have to contact my friends first to let them know, otherwise they might think I've gone missing. So far, I've been up to the tower and the cathedral and killed everything, and now it's my turn to go below to see whatever they have down there. That crazy follower outside did say that the Master is above and below. I'm thinking I have a lot of prisoners down there, and to get through that without alarming the entire place, I'm going to keep on wearing these cultist robes. If anyone asks, I'm just another member of the Children of the Cathedral. I can see the end coming to this all soon, and I'm mighty glad for it. Instead of just, uh, standing here staring at this nightkin who's giving me the stink eye, I'll go downstairs. This one hasn't been hostile and I don't want to kill it on that floor because it'll alert everybody. Well, I mean, I'm in on my disguise. I came down here looking for where they're keeping all the captives, I guess. Just to make sure that I've also mopped up the last of them. Nothing in there. Nothing here. Well, it sure is dark down here. Oh, is that it? Nothing more? Huh. Nothing in this book. Shelf. Big book of science. Nothing here. I've already read that book. I pretty much know everything there is to know about what they have in there. Now if it was a book on advanced physics, there's nothing of any interest in these shells. Nothing there. Right? Well, what do they use this place for? Where do they take all their captives? They have all these people coming upstairs. 
into the place. I mean, it's wide open. They're trying to brainwash them to join the Children Cathedral. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is go upstairs and start slaughtering all the Children of the Cathedral. Before then, I'm just going to read a book or two. Book on survival. Yeah, my, sur my outdoorsman is really high now. Well, compared to what it used to be. I mean, I didn't really know anything. The sun would was like, oh my gosh, what is that thing up there? Right, well... So I have a couple more books. First aid. Yeah, I've never been in the sun before. My first aid is also really increasing. Right, so what I have... Got a Dean's Electronics book to read, but... Ooh. Ooh. Wait, does that wall look right? Some irregularities on that wall. Hmm. Is it like a secret door? There's no lock to pick. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Hey! Excuse me, brother. You startled me. How may I serve the master? What are you doing? Transferring the reports, of course. Reports of what, if I may ask? I transfer the human purity reports for the surrounding areas. But you should know this. He starts to look at Milton suspiciously. Who are you? Oh, uh... Uh... I was sent by Morpheus with a message for the Master. Please forgive me. I apologize for questioning you. Please carry on about your business. And if I can be of any service, let me know. Oh. Well, this door definitely does open. Um, there's no lock to pick. That's where he came from. Startled me. What could I use? What about one of these lower ones? Does nothing. Alright, I think something is off with this bookcase. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, what are those things? Nasty. Ugh. Horrifically mutated things. I'm not even gonna look at them. I really should have my, um... Well, the... The emblem that I got from Morpheus in my hand. Yeah, I was a little close there talking to him, so I'm not gonna try to interact with anybody. Ew, stay away from the thing. That's a vault! Huh. Alright. Uh, this is dangerous. Alright. Time to try to get through this. Halt! What is your business here, child? I'm on an important business. You have no right to stop and question me. You may pass, but next time, follow the proper procedure. Blessing to you, brother. worked. <laughs> it worked. Well, that's why I wanted to put on the disguise instead of just killing everything. What's this computer say? Alright, well, let's see if I can't glean anything off hacking into it. Ah! Interesting data file on a secret base in the northwest? Well, I already know about that place. Not so secret anymore. Brotherhood knows about it. get anything off this computer either. No. And a locker. Oh. Well. Let's 
see if I can't pick this lock. Oh, I got it. First try. Well, I have a lot of stim packs. I could eat these, <laughs> use these stim packs, not eat them. Um, carrying my power armor, though, I gotta get rid of everything that's I don't need. I don't need these things. Um, I'm gonna read that book. I'm sure I have time in here. I can't do anything with those stim packs. Oh, here that guy comes back. Oh, there's nothing in here. Alright, well, I did bluff my way with him, insinuating that the Master and Morpheus are two separate people, and he seemed to understand that. Which tells me that Morpheus and the Master are not the same. Alright, let's go down the second floor. This looks a lot like my vault. They're built really similar. Oh, what's all this stuff on the wall? Goo? Some strange, noxious biological goo. Ugh. Just on the walls and on the floor? Oh, there's even more of it all over the place here. This is disgusting. Soup mutant over there. Some scientists with them. Oh, that's a big pile of goo. Oh, here we go. Prisoners. Hmm. I'll try to stay away from them. The, uh... Super mutants. Hello? She can't quite see me. Hello there. Oh, she just ignored me. Hey, you're right. Your kind is repugnant. Do not speak to me. You don't understand. I'm here to free you. Right, I could guess that. Go away and leave us alone. Okay. It's like they've given up. Maybe they're drugged. There's no one in this one. Oh, this woman. Hello. Oh. Are you okay? She's just staring at the wall. Hello there. Can I do anything for you? She just looked at me and then drooled. No, oh, these people are not right. You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna see if I can't open this up. I know these old things. We're free! We're free! Oh my god, what the? They just blew up. They must have had, like, some kind of explosives planted in them. Holy! Okay, I sort of wish I just left them. Well, I wish that they didn't blow up. Right, well, it seems I've gained in skill, but... I mean, I didn't do that. Why, is, why should I feel bad? Anyways, I'm going to improve my lock picking since it seems to be important down here. Oh, that is terrible. I'm not even going to look at them. Wow. Feel like vomiting. Ugh, I've seen people melt, but not explode. <sighs> Eyeballs and everything. Yeah. All right, what's in here? Oh, looks like an indoctrination room. Okay, I will not speak to them. It's here. Oh, well, these look like more prisoners. Hello there. Jason is a living god. Only the nullified may pass. Who? Nullified? Are they somehow restricting your psychic powers by those devices you're wearing? Yeah, they have devices on them. Yes, the walls are alive with those that have gone before. Oh. What happened to them? Meeting of the soul. Melded with, to protect, the master of all. Master of all. I need to protect the master. How do I get to him? Yes, the walls are alive with those that have gone before. Uh, others like you are in the wall? Meeting of the soul. Melded with, to protect, 
the master of all. Oh, weird. Uh, I see. How do I protect myself from the protectors of the master? There is only peace in joining. The price, the pain. One must be blind, nulled. You have to be nulled? Well, I need to join. Where can I pick up one of those snazzy nullifiers? I will anoint you. I must give what I must not. Okay, thanks, I guess. The man hands Milton a leather item. Oh, he just gave me a nullifier. Psychic nullifier. A strange device constructed from odd technology. Well, it is something. Okay, it looks electronic. And leather mixed into one. I'll just hold on to that then. You can leave, you know, I think you can... Oh, the guards at the gate might not. The entrance where the vault door is. Hello. There is no place like home. No place like home. No place like home. She paces back and forth. What about this place? Isn't this your home? My home is, uh, yeah. Here. Yeah, it's here. This is my home. She jumps up and down. I am so happy. You can't believe how happy this makes me. I think I'm going to go punch the wall for a while. Okay. I don't know if there's any hope for these people. Oh, there's a third floor. I wonder what's in this room. Oh, it looks like a barracks for the super mutants. Let's get out of here. Third floor. Let's see if I can't find this master. Oh, the goo is just all over the place. Well, I've got robots here. Robot Bay, they seem to be functioning. Oh, Super Mutant. Oh, try not to talk to him. That's uh, storage, there's probably weapons in there. I don't really need anything. Let me see, the door's open for me. Oh, this is the worst goop-filled place I've ever could ever imagine. What is that down there? Oh, that's disgusting. Looks like somebody's intestine or maybe even an esophagus. Ugh. Uh, hello there. Hello. Yes, little brother. What is it that you need from me? Praise to the unity, brother. Praise to the unity. Okay, I can't talk to them. I've got nothing to say. What if they start questioning me? Oh, this control room is disgusting. How could you work with this? Well, there's a door over there. I'm not sure if I'm going the right ways. It's different in our vault. The overseer has his room over here in ours. Oh. Okay, this... Oh, the floor. It's hard not to step on the goo. Yeah. I don't know where this is going to go. Maybe it's some storage place, or maybe there's more prisoners down here. Oh, it kind of looks like an overseer. It's moving. That's like an overseer. This is like the, the central control room. There's robots here. Could this be... Could this be the master? I don't know. I almost don't want to be here. I want to run. It's horrible. Well, I hope the psychic nullifier is going to keep me safe. If they were all wearing it. Maybe that's what made them crazy. Uh, if this is the master, maybe I should take some Mentats. If that will even help me at all. So what shall it be? Ooh. Do you join the unity, or do you die here? Join. Die. Join. Die. This is the strangest thing I have ever... I don't think I ever could have dreamed something so weird. This must be the master. Is this what FEV's done to it? Horrifically, it's like it's connected with this machine, too. And it's got like three voices, or two voices. Uh... All right, um, you know what? If you can prove to me that your unity is the best course for humanity, then I'll help you. 
I don't have to prove anything to you. Prove. Hmm. I can't know you represent the best future unless you prove it to me. Very demanding for one in your tenuous position. But I can respect your needs. Three voices. So tell me. The unity will bring about the master race. Master. Master! One able to survive, or even thrive in the wasteland. As long as there are differences, we will tear ourselves apart fighting each other. Hmm. We need one race. 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 One goal. 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 One people to move forward to our destiny. Destiny. I see. That race being the mutants, of course. Of course. Mutants are best equipped to deal with the world today. Who else? The ghouls? Please. Normals! They brought nuclear death to us all. This will be the age of mutants. Mutants. I see. You mean to change all the others into mutants as well? All that... Resist! Yes. And all those that are required for the... Unity? As well. The remainder will be allowed to live out their days, but under... Unity. Control. And protection. But none shall breed, for they will be the last of their race. Hmm. I think you've got a problem with your master plan. And what is that? Um, I happen to know that your mutants are sterile. Preposterous! The FEV2 virus doesn't destroy the reproductive organs of those it mutates. Hmm. Have you talked to any of your mutants about this? I believe I shall. Don't move. Okay. My scientists assure me that nothing is wrong. What do you say to that? Say! Say! Hmm. Well, they don't even have females as far as I see. They're all one sex. I, If they even are have a sex. Did you think to ask a female mutant? Reasonable. One moment. Are you sure? What about the other? Females. It cannot be. Oh, I think it's just figuring it out. Sorry, your race is doomed. But it cannot be. This would mean that... All my work... ...has been for... Nothing. Everything that I've tried to... A, a failure! It can't be... 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 be. Uh... Sorry, this isn't an option for you. Your race will die out after this generation. I... Don't think that I can continue. Continue? To have done the things I have done in the name of progress and healing. It was madness. I can see that now. Madness. Madness? There is no hope. Leave now. Leave while you still have hope. What's it going to do? Time left. 240 seconds. 239 uh, okay, seconds. Okay, there's a countdown. 238 from his seconds. Console beeping. I think I need to leave immediately. He may have engaged the fusion generators. Seconds. Well, they might be overheating. Uh, keep going. 222 I'll seconds. Move faster, especially if I have to take a minute to switch into my combat armor. But move faster in these robes. 217 seconds. Two hundred fourteen seconds. Halt! What is your uh, business here, child? Yeah, I'm in important business still. You may pass, but next time, uh, blessings, follow brother. the proper procedure. Two hundred and nine seconds. Two hundred and one seconds. Two 
Okay, it opens easily from this side. I think the switch was in that bookcase. One hundred eighty-five seconds. One hundred eighty-one seconds. Uh, okay. This door is... I closed it behind me. One hundred seventy-five seconds. The fusion generators go. This whole building is done. Uh, so will the surrounding area. I need to exit immediately. One hundred sixty-two seconds. Oh, you idiots. Seconds. Well... This is what you get. I had a lot to think about on my trip back to the Brotherhood of Steel. The Master was killed. The real one. So this mutant army is now leaderless, at least as far as I know. That doesn't mean that there isn't another at the military base that will take over. I am sure that something as intelligent as the Master would have made contingencies for situations like this. So sticking to my plan, I returned to the hub and rounded up my companions. Tycho had just returned from Junktown, and I found Ian and Katja staying at a local hotel. It seemed like they sort of were a couple now, which surprised me. But Tycho said that he got the hint, that's why he took off for a few weeks. I spent a total of eight weeks undergoing these ability-enhancing surgeries and 14,000 caps. Between surgery, I spent a lot of time around my roommate Jerry recovering which, at times, drove me nuts. Talus says I'd be a good knight if I didn't talk so much. How are you doing, Rumi? Can I get you anything? Yeah, no one ever gets me anything here. I have to do everything myself. I really feel like everyone sort of pretends that I'm not really here. It gets annoying sometimes. Like, just the other day, I passed Rhombus in the hallway, and I stopped and said hello. The guy just kept on walking past me and acting like I didn't exist. The other day I clogged the toilet, but seeing as there's another right next to it, I just said to myself, hey, who cares? So I left it as is, just so you know. I forget which one it was, so you'll just have to try your luck. Don't forget, we have to wash our own clothes and bed linens. I don't know if they have something like that in your vault, but we take care of ourselves here, unlike the masses of people out in the wasteland who for the most part don't even bathe. Before leaving the Brotherhood of Steel, I made sure those three paladins would be waiting for us nearby the military base to the northwest. Once that was taken care of, I returned to the hub to seek out my companions and bring them along with me. Milton steps out of his power armor to greet his friends. Whoa, Tycho, is that you? You like what you see? You look pretty... well... pretty badass. Ha! If you could see yourself in your power armor with that plasma rifle, I don't hold a candle to your badassery, son. But thanks. I scrounged up the parts for this helmet and took a suit of combat armor apart to merge it with leather armor. What you see here is the result. Well, it looks damn good. I hope the Desert Rangers back home are impressed. I'm hoping more than that. This is a prototype outfit. I'm gonna make damn sure this catches on, and I'll show them all how to make it. The Red Eyes design is just an aesthetic choice. It could be any color, but I'm hoping the red will catch on. It looks more imposing. Does it do anything special, like night vision? Milton, do you think I'm an engineer or something? That's way beyond my skill set. Maybe you could put something like that together. Hmm. Perhaps one day we the Desert Rangers can do something like that. That would require a power source built into the outfit and finding night vision equipment. But it is a good idea. 
I'll bring that up when I get home, too. Hey, next to you two, we look down, right? Silly. But I'm glad to have you guys looking scary as shit like that if we're going to confront a mutant base. Ian, Katja, how are you two? It's been a few months. We're doing well, Milton. I'm glad to see you back out from the Brotherhood of Steel. You look... well, taller, more... well, more manly than before. What did they do to you in there? Milton notices Ian and Katja standing close together, practically holding hands, confirming that they are now together. It was a bit of an ordeal. A lot of recovery from their skill enhancements. So are you like a superhero now from those pre-war comics? Can you lift me up with one hand? Nah, but I am stronger, can see better, move faster, and can take a little more punishment. Wow. Uh, how much did you say that all cost? Too much. 14,000 caps. Holy, that's... that's more than I've ever seen. A lot more. Well, now I'm poor, so I'll be looking to loot what I can, I guess. It's worth it if you are stronger, faster, and all that. Wow. And you'll be wearing power armor. Milton, you will be an unstoppable machine. That's why I'm glad we're going with you, Milton. Yeah, you can take the lead in that machine of yours. Well, are we ready? I'm itching to get going here. Those mutants aren't going to lay low, especially after you killed their master. They could pop up at any time. All right, let's get to it then. We have days of traveling to get there from the hub. Let's go. I expected a huge battle outside and around the enemy base, but along the way back to it, we encountered nothing. I believe we were able to bypass their patrols. I was also thinking I could try my radio to get their attention at the base, maybe lure out the mutants. Right, we made it here. To the outside. This is going to be a tough nut to crack. You think it will be? Good. You're here. Let's torch this place. Yeah, let's torch this place. Command to patrol! Command to patrol! What is your status? Over! Well, they said the radio could, uh, help. Help! Unknown attackers! Heavy damage! Coordinates follow! Ten! Arrgh! Roger, patrol! We're sending help now! Hold on! Here they come. Right. Well, if it's gonna take them out of the base, I could help. Hooey, that's disgusting. Those without power armor are a little vulnerable to the attacks on these things. Rocket launcher on his shoulder. That's two. There's two more. Wait for them to get a little closer. Let them come to us one at a time. If they're still gonna do it, if they're that dumb. That other one's not budging. I don't even know if I can hit it from here. Yeah, my weapon doesn't have the range for that. The only thing I'm gonna loot is more... Ah, these. Oh, and stim packs. comes now. Pick these up. That's it. That's all I want. Alright, take this. Ah, miserable human! I am blind! Eyes. Yuck.
Right, I think I've gone up in skill. Well... Um... I've been really looking at repair manuals lately, but also... Using my energy weapons a lot. Wow. I don't think I could get any better when it comes to energy weapons. I hope I didn't make a mistake bringing my friends. Alright, so... There's more of this. What's this? Tape. Let's just take it and see what it says. Probably nothing on it. I mean, I'm here to finish them off, right? Oh, although this tape is damaged beyond use, there is some writing scratched on the plastic. Code 010597. I wonder if that's not for... to access a computer. Alright, that guy, thanks. Let us move out. Well, you guys stay out here. We're gonna go in. And, uh, hopefully we're gonna come out. With this place destroyed, or at least cleaned out. Time for us to head back to the Brotherhood now. Oh. So they left. Alright. Oh, we've got some super Die, movies, human right? fool! Ah. Oh, they hit Tycho really good. Let's try not to let that happen again. This one's got a rocket launcher. No more rocket launcher. This one's gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna take this one out. Take it right in the eyes. Oh, there's more of them. I hear them stomping around. Let's see how lucky you are. You know what? This is really dangerous stuff, and Tycho, you were just hit really hard. You I don't know suffer. if it's a good idea. Suffer great. Yeah, there's one over there. If you guys come in here with me, I can deal with this. We've got force fields, right? Right. Rocket launchers. These guys have really good weapons. All have Gatling guns. Mini guns. You know what? Let's get out. You guys come... You do what I was hoping that those uh, paladins from the Brotherhood of Steel would do. You guys stay here, and uh, I'm going to go in there and clean them out myself. Are you saying you want to do this alone, Milton? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I don't want to put you guys in harm's way. My power armor can more than take the punishment they can dish out. And most of the time it just deflects off me. You guys don't have that luxury, so I don't want you to even be in there with me. I'm afraid you could die. Damn. You are asking a lot from this desert ranger, you know that? Well, he does have a point. His armor and his weapon are on a whole other level than what we have with our leather armor and projectile weapons. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, I can already hear Tycho saying maybe, but he still doesn't like it. You have come to know me too well, friend. I don't want to lose any of you, especially... I don't want you to lose each other, Ian and Katja. This is about the most dangerous place I could ever ask anyone to go in with me. It's just not worth it. I can do this alone. If you had your own power armor, that would be different. Fine. Yeah, Ian, you are right. And I also know you're thinking the same thing. You don't want him to go in alone, but it's the best course of action. Yeah, we are just easy targets in there. Right. Well, I love you, Katja, and I don't want you to get hurt. Maybe, maybe Milton is onto something. Milton is right, and I love you too, Ian. You're damn right I am. I'm not asking, I'm telling you. Remain out here. They have really powerful weapons in there, and who knows how many super mutants there are inside. One thing is for sure, I know they have a lot of trouble getting through my armor, and my plasma rifle just destroys them. Right. We'll stay right here and make sure no other mutants get inside, or any that try to leave. We'll take them down. We can take cover so they won't see us so easily. Milton, God be with you. I got this. Just wait for me here. Hopefully I can set off the fusion reactor down there and blow it up just like at the cathedral. It's 
base's alarm's been triggered. If I can use this again. Well, I hear static and pitch squealing of the radio. It sounds like encrypted audio. Right, so I've got to find a way to get through here. Um, I have my tool. Of course, there are better tools up there. It's the best I could find. I'm trying to turn off the emitter. I hear something in the distance. This isn't doing anything. What about here? Horribly damaged emitter. Like, these things are... It's old and it's falling apart, right? It's damaged enough for me to walk through. Okay, if that's the case, why can't I turn it off? Two damage repair. Well, what about this one? This is a normal color, isn't it? Yeah. I temporarily disabled it. The red ones I can walk through. I don't see anything around here. I did hear one from over here, though. I've only heard of force field technology. I've never actually seen it. But it's pretty clear it's being emitted from these things here. Can I shoot through them? There's one right here. Take this. Now, so I'm wondering if I couldn't Let's see if I can walk through it. Ah. Well, that hurt. Hurt a little bit. Yeah, it'd be hard to bring my companions with me through this. See if I can't turn the computer off. Or the alarm off. Uh, all the controls are locked and encrypted. The only folder not protected is the recreational games folder. Oh. Play a game of 21, but aren't good enough to break it. Well, how often do... I mean... <laughs> How many tries is it going to give me? Okay, I'm kind of wasting time. Oh, I break the bank in a game of 21 and sneak into the main system through the end game screen. Blackjack. Okay, I turn off all the force fields on this level. Ha! <laughs> well, that was good. Not a waste of time at all. The alarm is still going, though, but the force fields are off. At least the uh, yellow ones. Okay, these monitors aren't doing anything. It's on the other side. So I'm going to have to brave going through this thing. Ah! Ah! Whoa! I hear a lot of them. Okay. Suffer, human! Oh, you missed. Right. Um. Laser weapon, Gatling guns. Gatling guns don't seem to do much to me. I'm gonna take out the rocket launchers. I don't know what that's gonna be like to be hit by one of those. I won't from these guys. Oh, I hit them, but not good enough. Die, human fool! No. Well, I felt that. Ow. The first time he shot me. That's okay, you guys can keep shooting your own guys. I'm fine with that. Ooh, there's a book on the floor. Take this. You take this. 
Ah, pain! What have you done? Let's wish the Brotherhood of Steel came in here with me. They were, said they were going to help take away everything that's around the base, and I guess they did. What's this book? Oh, guns and bullets. Well, I can sell it. Only interested in microfusion cells. Right. Robots. Right. Uh, I can hit this one. Right in its brain. Ah, I felt that. I might just have to take a stim pack after all this. This floor is cleared out. All right, you know, you guys move really slow. Wow, you're still ticking, huh? All right. Take this. Right. I'm not sure if this is the whole floor, but there's an elevator over there. No, there's nothing here. I'm interested to see what they have on these computer terminals that just passed by. Monitor flickers. Not all of them are working. Reprogramming complete. Initializing voice communication subsystems. Initializing personality subsystem. How may this terminal be of service? Hmm. Who or what are you? This terminal is an artificial intelligence. This terminal is part of a WLAN matrix network to optimize remote unit operations. What are the remote units that you're controlled, that you control? This terminal is responsible for the operation of all General Atomics International Industrial Robots in this facility. Oh, it's a little late for the robots. What programs are you running? Current applications are Facility Maintenance V2.1, Movement V4.8B, Repair V0.8A, hmm. Pest Control Vive 1.4, Hearts Vive 1.0A, and Sensors 76. Uh, terminate sensors. Attempting to terminate. System error. Failure to terminate application. Delete rights not available. Delete rights? Hmm, adjust parameters on movement. Current application? Movement version 4.8 beta. Current setting, right. uh, maximum half you know rate minimum. Out of this Change to maximum, half rate, or minimum. This is just for the robots. Thanks, and input. Goodbye. Oh, what, what about this computer? I just want to turn off the alarm. Everybody knows that I'm here or something is wrong. Okay, so there's an elevator here. We've got more areas over here. This is not like my vault at all, though the architecture seems similar. The layout is not the same. Okay, so I've been here. Guess we go to the elevator now. Ah. All right, Ugh, felt that. Let's do this. Yeah. Hmm, three floors? Let's go down the second one. Start blasting as we go. Again, like the recordings I made when I went to the Glow, I've completed two in one. The game is now complete with recording, but I just have to edit it all and put it together into two finished videos. It was a lot of fun putting it together, and though again, it is quite 
time consuming to do this, otherwise I just would have made it all into one long 150 minute plus video. Going by memory, I never could tell what the right approach was, lore and or logically thinking, to either kill the master or destroy the military base first. In hindsight, after doing it this way, I think the master should be last, not first. It's saving the bad guy until the very end. Though, in reality, if you destroy the military base first, the bad guy has no power left, so it's sort of a catch-22. But if I could have chosen to do it over again, I would have gone to the military base first. You'll see in the next video that there are old logs that Milton pulls up right before he's done. Ones that talk about the Master's first few years back when he still considered himself Richard Gray. Milton is about to go off into the sunset and this game will be complete, leaving me a lot more free time to focus on the other two Let's Roll plays and anything else in my life. I will of course leave it all open for Fallout 2 just in case that game ever is something that I'll be working on in the future. I just wish it was fully voiced for all the NPCs. There will be an important poll on November 20th, 2024 for the future of my channel. Make sure everyone votes.